Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Last week I posted a video demonstrating how if you just simply brighten the face of your subject just a little bit, it will make the image pop. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a different way to do that. So you could have an image that starts out like this and you'll end up with a pop, an image like this. As I mentioned at the top, last week I did a video demonstrating how you could make a portrait pop by simply brightening the face of your subject. And in that video, I used a brush to brighten the face. Well, after that video posted, Don Hodap commented that he does something similar, except he uses the targeted adjustment tool and the HSL tab to accomplish something similar. And then a day or two later, Ron Hipwell um, commented that he learned that HSL targeted adjustment trick from uh, the photographer Julia Trotti. So I want to give credit where credit is due because I'm going to demonstrate to you that technique. Uh, this technique works great. It's a lot faster than the brush technique. Uh, you may find that one technique will work better than the other. So it's really uh, would serve you well to learn both techniques. Uh, for some images, the brush may work better, for that I, the video I did last week. And for other images, this technique may work better. Uh, if you didn't see that video I'm talking about, uh, the one with the brush, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to it. I encourage you to watch it. In that video, I took this exact image and I brightened her face and I demonstrated how um, it's really easy to do and it really makes the image look better. Well, this new technique or this alternate technique that um, they were talking about involves using the HSL tab. So we'll click on that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the targeted adjustment tool. It's right here. It's this little like circle. Also, make sure we're affecting luminance. So you don't want to be in hue. Don't want to be in saturation. Make sure you're in luminance. And we're going to click on the targeted adjustment tool. And you'll notice when I do that, the cursor turns into that tool. And it's super easy to do this now. What you do is put it over the face of your model, click with the left mouse button and hold that button in. Now when I do, the cursor will disappear and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna click with the left mouse button. You can see the cursor disappeared. I'm holding the left mouse button in and I'm pushing my mouse straight up. And you can see it's brightening her face. If I pull the mouse down, it darkens her skin. It's targeted adjustment. It's targeting her skin. And if you look over at the panel on the right, you could see it's affecting the orange slider mainly and the yellow slider slightly. So that's how it's adjusting her skin tone. So it's super easy to do. And as I mentioned, this could be a lot quicker, especially with an image like this, where you have uh, her neck and chest and her arm showing. So it's, uh, take you a lot longer to use the brush on an image like this. Now, again, it works for all, like the brush, it looks works for all tones of skin. It doesn't matter. So just get the uh, targeted adjustment tool, go like right somewhere on his forehead and push up with the mouse. You can see it brightens his face. There's before and there's after. We'll do another one. We'll get the targeted adjustment tool. I'll click on her forehead near her nose. It doesn't matter where you click really, just click on her face and you could see it brightens it up. Now you could see as I'm doing this, it's also affecting the background. This could happen of course. With the brush, you have a little more control where you're applying it of course, because you're gonna only brush the brightness where you want it. This tool is going to affect the entire image. So if you encounter uh, something like this where it's affecting the background as well. You may have to, if you don't want it to affect the background or anywhere else in the image, you may then have to get a brush. And what I would suggest you do is just like take highlights down on the brush and then paint 
wherever it's affecting that you don't want it to affect. So that's an extra step. And that's where the brush might be a better choice, the video I did last week. It really depends. So we'll go back now to the HSL tab. I'll get the targeted adjustment tool. I'll click on her forehead and push up with the mouse. And you can see how quick that is. This one really didn't affect the background. When our last one, I'll get the targeted adjustment tool, click on her face and push up. You can see it brightens her face, just adds that extra little pop. There's before and there's after. That's probably too much. I'll click and pull it down a little bit. Now it affected the background here. I could get the brush. I'll have highlights down and I could just come in here and bring that back to what it was on that side. So that's this alternate way to make your images pop when you need to just brighten the face a little bit. Try the targeted adjustment tool inside of the HSL tab of Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>